Hey, howdy, hey, everybody, this is Pete. I grew up in Memphis, Tennessee, and it's the home of the blues and the birthplace of rock and roll. <laughs> but how would you like to do a very basic form of the blues? Uh, I thought it'd be kind of fun to, to throw that out there for people. It's really easy, and I have a theory about ukulele. I'm sorry, I'm moving all around here. Uh, I've got a theory on, on ukulele, and it's, uh, it's the KISS theory. And it's basically keep it simple strumming. I mean, that's all it is. And so let's make it as simplistic as possible. But what I'm going to do over the next two minutes is I'm going to take you from simplistic up to where you're doing something that looks like it's really hard, but it's really not. So you can impress all your friends. <laughs> okay, very basic, very basic form of the blues. You got three chords. It's actually four chords. I'm going to throw in four chords. It's A and D and E7. That's your basic, basic blues, three chords. But I'm going to throw a D7 in there, and I'm going to show you why in just a minute. It gives it a particular sound to it. So, start off. Let's start off with beginners. All you have to do is a downstroke. Hear that? And then the D. That's A, then the D. That's all you need. Back to A. Then E7. If all you knew, uh, all you know how to do is play that right there. Just have fun with it. That's a very basic, very beginners. Then D. Okay, now this is the pattern you're going to play, but it, a little bit more advanced than that is we're going to put an upbeat on it. So it's one and one and one and one. Your upbeat is like a like a half right there, like an eighth note. It's done. Now can you do that? But do it slow. That's why it's easy. Then D. Then this is where the D7 comes in. You do a full D7. You borrow that second chord, you hit that, that first string on that third fret. Then E7. How's that? That wasn't so hard, was it? That's all you need ever. If you want to play the blues, that's it. But we're going to go a little further. You intermediates out there, we're going to do a little bit further. We're going to add a mute in there on, a, on an upbeat. You take that finger, any finger that's available that you can use. Hear that? I'm going to take it slow. D. E7. Then what? D7. seven okay that's a little bit more advanced let's go a little bit more I'm gonna show you something to do that's gonna impress all your friends and you they're gonna think you just just like gonna blow their minds with something that sounds so complicated but it's really not but you got to practice a little bit when you do that a and you transfer it back going into the last bar to the end what you're gonna do is you're gonna leave that third finger on now just watch it's not complicated third finger on out of that D7, and you're going to lift that finger, and you're going to make an A. And it sounds kind of, when you just play it like this, it sounds a little weird. And I'm going to show you what I'm doing. See that? Bar to the A. Bar to the A. Leave that thing, third finger on so it's easy. Now, watch this. I'm just going to go fast so you'll get it. Then this is where you go. Aha! See that? Looks complicated, but it's not. It's. See there? Now, that's 
beginner to intermediate. Let's go a little bit further. You can add a riff in there. And what you're going to do is you, when you make that A, you're going to take that third finger. You're going to take that third finger. And what you're going to do is this. You're going to take that third finger and you're going to go second fret right there. Huh? Open, second, third. Open, second, third. Hear the riff? Now, then when you go to your D, this is a little harder, but you have to make your D and you have to stretch that pinky up to that fourth fret on the fourth string. Back to A. Second, third fret. Then don't do anything on E7. Okay, this is what it's going to sound like. Other than if you play the right note. Slow. If you got a low G, this sounds really good. Then back to A. Then E7. D7. Back to E7. A little bit more advanced. I know this is going in a little bit long, but if you want to do a little bit more advanced, finger pick it. And all I'm doing is I'm taking these two fingers and I'm picking these top three strings. Here's the last little bit. If you speed all that up, you got rockabilly. That's where rockabilly came from. Basically, it's or it's the same thing, and it all came from the same place, right here. Anyway, hope everybody's having a good day. I'm sorry this went so long. Hope everybody's having a good day. Everybody's going to, anyway. <laughs> Y'all take care.